I have in front of me a tub of fairly cold water it's from the tap and on one side here I've glued a couple of small water bottles one the red one is fresh water and the blue one is salt water and I am going to open the caps off of those and let the water dump out into the larger bucket and we're gonna watch what happens before I do that I want you to ask yourself what you would expect to happen do you think that the salty water and the fresh water will behave differently will they mix will some rise and some sink if one the salty or the fresh sinks which one would you expect it to be so take a second to think about that I'm gonna take the caps off in just a second and we'll see what happens all right here is again this is the salty water there goes the blue gushing out and here we have the red all right so what do you notice the blue is sinking the blue is rushing out it's moving quickly if you look at the red the red is very slowly trickling out of there and it is rising to the surface and if I come back a little bit, you'll notice that there really isn't any mixing at all. So the question is why? The answer to that question is that the salty water, the blue one, salt is more dense and so is cold water. So in this situation, this is just a simulation, but if you imagine the ocean, the ocean is salty and the salt water sinks and it carries that water down with it. So what this demonstrates is something called thermohaline circulation. And this is the nature of what the water does in the ocean. So the salt and the cold water, which both sink, drive ocean circulation. And that movement um, carries with it heat. That thermohaline circulation largely influences global climate. The next step is to go and complete your inquiry project that goes along with this.